Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are making doll shoes for our vintage 14R fashion dolls. And these are the shoes that we will be making. As you can see, these are sandal types and it will tie with a ribbon towards the back. This is the equipment and materials that you will need. Scissors, one for fabric and one for paper. Exacto knife to cut edges and also the materials itself. You will need also glue sticks and a mini glue gun. You will also need a roll of ribbon, about 3 8 inches in width, and about 40 to 50 inches in length. You will need craft felt and also templates for the feet of your doll. And you will need, of course, the outer soles, which is basically a pair of hot glue and also thread and needle. Here you can see that you can also shape the heels with the exacto knife. To your right, those are the completed shoes that you see at the far end and also at the center part. You'll need to fit your doll first with the outer sole that's made out of hot glue. Just kind of eyeball it. You might want to trim the excess of the hot glue after it has hardened to form the outer soles. You'll need to trace the feet of your dolls and you'll need to trace as close as possible to the feet and you might have to do, do this several times. Here are the tracings and you'll need to somewhat eyeball to fit primarily the outer soles just to get an idea if you've got the shape right. Then cut your templates with your paper scissors. Mark the left part of the templates as well as the front points and that way you can align it much more easier. After you've cut your templates, fit them into the outer soles just to see if they fit. In this case, this is a little bit larger, so they will need to be trimmed, trimmed off. You can retrace your temp template and then begin to trim off all the excess parts in that way the fit will be much better.
Then pin your template, your paper template, into your craft belt one at a time and then begin cutting it. I like to cut my outer soles or the, excuse me, I like to cut my inner soles as close as possible to the template. I use ribbons that are three quarters in width and also double face. In that way there will be no wrong side or right side on the face of the ribbon. I cut two lengths of the ribbon about 21 inches and I cut two of these I cut the ends at an angle in that way it can thread through the loops much easier. I fold the ribbon in half to locate the center and then I mark this with a pencil. This mark will be aligned with my markings at the center part of the outer sole. In that way when I glue them down they will be at the right place. I'm marking the outer sole here with a number two pencil. This will serve as my guideline when I put down the glue, which would be the hot glue. I 
I mark the other shoe as well. I want to align these lines so that the two shoes will be mirroring each other. I'm locating the center here and marking and it looks like a cross. I'm going to cut for my loops that I will be applying to the back of the shoe. This will hold the ribbons in place. I make sure that the width of the ribbons can thread through the loops. In this case, this is about one and three quarters. I will leave a seam allowance of about a quarter of an inch that will have in stitching applied at the top to keep them together. I'm going to cut two of these. I'm checking the lengths here again to make sure that they're the same length and it's about one and three quarters of an inch on each strip. I'm going to sew loops and these two will serve as an anchor for the ribbons when I glue them down at the back of the shoe. I apply about three stitches to secure the ribbons in place.
I then apply a bead of hot glue towards the front of the shoe. I will be gluing down the center of the ribbons here. I'm applying the glue here and I'm matching my center marks at the bottom of the shoe. I'm gluing the back of the loops and I'll start about a quarter from the edge of the outer soles of the shoe. The stitch sides, or the ones with the stitching, will be facing towards the inside part of the loops. Then I, I apply the hot glue around the parameters of the outer sole of the shoe and also at the center part of the shoe. Then I apply my felt inner sole to the top and this will serve as a footbed for the foot and also will cover the raw edges of the ribbons. Once the glue has cooled, then I trim off any excess of the felt that I applied at the top. Here's the completed shoe. Now all I have to do is thread the ribbon through the back loop. As you can see here, the position is an S shape. And I'll repeat it to the other side.
I like to leave the tail slung in that way when I form the bows at the back to secure the shoes in place. I would have a lot of room when I pull the bows in or tighten them together. Here's a view of what the shoe would look like finished on the side and another view on the right side at the top of the shoe. Here's the back of the shoe with the bow already tied. This can be untied if you wish to change the shoe. Here's a view of the front. The soles can be painted as well as you can see on the right side, but there are two here. Thank you for watching.